You're so weird. I know. Welcome to Curly Fry. My name is Caleb, AKA Curly Fry. And today we are talking about how we as Kidman leaders can invest in our volunteer teams. So here are three ways that you can invest in your team. So the first way is simply by a meeting with your volunteers before every service. Now I say it's simple, but it can actually be really hard because sometimes it can pass you by and you don't even realize it. As Kidman directors, there can be something that randomly pops up in a little emergency that we have to put out, or maybe there's a new family that we need to go greet and talk to, and so the time just gets away from us. So maybe you need to uh, enlist a volunteer to help rally everyone, get them together, and even start the meeting, and then you can jump in whenever. But this meeting is one, just to pray for the service and to thank them for being there. It also shows them how they can be a part of your team in that service. So what you'll do is simply go through your service, your service schedule and uh, tell them what's gonna happen, who's gonna do what, and then give them opportunities if they're not necessarily participating in the main service, but what they can do to facilitate the kids in those situations. Now what I love to do is to get the entire team together. That means from birth all the way to elementary, those volunteers to come together. But sometimes uh, I'm only able to get just the elementary or just the preschool and we talk about what's happening in the service and uh, get given an opportunity to, to pray over the service and the kids and what God is doing on that weekend. But I always try to do everyone together. It can be hard, but I always try to do it at least 15 minutes before service or essentially whatever time you ask your volunteers to get there, that's the perfect time to hold the meeting. Now the second way that you can build and invest in your teams is by quarterly hangouts. This is time for us to hang out, we eat, we play games, but it's also time for you to cast some vision for where you're going in the next few months. It's a way for us to get to know each other and build a relationship. One thing that I did with my PLUS team, which is the team that we would get together every quarter and plan out the themes for the next few months, what we'd be doing, our themed weekends, prizes and things like that. We just get together, look through the list, talk it over, pray at the end, and uh, we would eat together and it was just a great time for us to hang out but also allow God to use us as a team to further what He wants to do in the lives of the kids in our ministry. Now, the third way that you can build and invest in your teams is a yearly, maybe even uh, twice a year, do a training for your volunteers. This is a great way to onboard new volunteers that are just coming in, but also to give a refresher to the current volunteers. We would always bring in food, we'd have a couple speakers, and then we would talk about one specific subject within kids' ministries. One of the subjects that we talked about was kids who come to our service who have maybe some behavioral issues, or at least it may look like they have behavioral issues, but we just need to figure out how we can help them. One of the things that I always try to do is never kick a kid out of the ministry. Just because they're kind of acting up or whatever, let's try to figure out the best way for them to be in a service. So one time there was a kid, he would not sit still. He had a little dime and he wouldn't stop playing with it. I would take it away and then he would get up and walk around. Finally, he just ended up laying under a seat. I'm going, there's no way he can't do this. But then I realized he's laughing at the right moments when the speaker is talking. He's engaged in the service. And so I just said to my volunteers, let him hang out under the chair. That's fine. He's engaged. He's listening to what the Lord is saying. So let's let it happen. This is going to be a win. It may look different, but it's still a win. So picking subjects that work for your ministry and things that uh, your volunteers are going to deal with are the best thing to do. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you were seeing. If you did, be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get a notification every time that we post a video, which we try to do weekly. And also, if you want to stay up to date, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Well, we hope that you guys have a great Sunday in Kids Ministries, and we'll see you next time.